Hey everyone, today we will be going over graphs today, particularly we'll be going over a graph printer header file, and without any further hesitation, let's get started. And now we will be going over our uh, directed graph, but prior to, I'm actually going to be first creating our header file to be able to print out all of the um, graph nature of our graphs that we will have. So I'm going to create a file called graph printer. And this will allow us to see the nature of our entire graphs. So first thing that we're going to be doing is that we're going to be including our libraries. Stream, and we're going to have six of these, two, three, four, five, six, vector list, cmath, uh, string, unordered math, and also using namespace std. Then we're going to have our class called graph printer, and a public instance that we have over here, and we have three different instances. We are first going to print our graph, render our graph, and then draw our arrows accordingly. So in order for us to be able to print our graph, we're going to void print graph constant vector, as indicated by our JCC list that we made earlier. List int and a JCC for a constant over here, I'm going to output graph adjacency list and end L and for int v indicating the vectors zero. Uh, v is less than adjacency list size, and it's going to continue up until we finally have our vertices here. Then we will output uh, each vertices with a respective arrow since we have an adjacency list that we are making to indicate the relationships between the two and then we will use an iterator called it that's going to be equal to adjacency vector uh, at the start called adjacency v begin iterator doesn't equal adjacency v end and we're going to still increment uh, the iterator as well count it each space and then we will have count and L and then I'll put here as well and then we will output another format graph edges using ASC II art and L right here make sure all semicolons are attached and we're going to render our graph by using this private function private Void, render graph, constant, vector, list, int, and adjacency for constant, constant int, radius, equal 10, constant, int, diameter, equal 2 times radius, plus 1, with our vector of strings, since we are printing out our following. Graph lines, diameter, string for diameter times two. And then we will ha uh, ha initialize our size that we have for the adjacency list. And we'll have an unordered map to indicate the, uh, our positions with respect to uh, the information we're getting from our adjacency list, pair. Int, int positions. Then we'll have a for loop for int i is equal to zero, i is less than size, plus plus i. And then we'll have double angle equal 2.0 times pi from CMath. I divided by size. that and int x is equal to radius plus static cast int with radius times the cosine angle then we'll do the same thing for the y axis or int y for radius but this time using sine 
level. And then indicating for the position of i equal to what we have x and y accordingly in the inside. Then we will indicate with our vertices first initialized with respect to the size of the adjacency list. Plus plus v auto x y positions of v and we will be drawing our graph lines using a vector at another point by using y x times 2 equal the initial point that we have we we'll just put this at 0 and then graph lines indicating y with um, x times 2 plus 1 indicating the connection that we have initialized and then plus vertices as well then while doing so with the graph lines and we determine which graph line is which of another for loop indicating for int v is equal to zero and while it is still going through uh, checking our adjacency list we will have our other vertex that we will be connecting that's outside of the adjacency list which I will showcase in our directed graph and other uh, graphs later we'll draw the arrow which will be a function uh, called upon later putting inside of our vectors soon to be graph lines positions of v and uh, positions of w as well And then we'll have four constant auto and line graph lines count line and if outputting the line that we have for our graph. Then we will have our void uh, draw arrow function as well. Put this right here. Yeah, it's already right there. So it's already set. Void draw arrow. Vector string and graph lines pair int int uh, from and then pair int int two for constant right here int x one is equal to from first and then y one is equal to from dot second. Now we'll do the same thing for two. X two first. Y two second. And then we'll have uh, other variables as well, indicating the position about where to draw the arrow. So we will have dx int s of x s s of y and then int error to know exactly what direction because we are going to have uh, the graph lines diagonal straight another diagonal up or left right in different areas. So we will have the absolute value of x two minus x one with dy equal the absolute value of y2 minus y1 and then we have the instance of x1 less than x2 or 1 with respect to negative 1 over here so we'll do the same thing for y y1 less than y2 or 1 with respect to negative 1 over here error dx minus dy there we go and while true, if x1 is be sure to equal x2 as an edge case and y1 is equal to y2, we're going to break int error 2 equals error times 2 if e2 is greater than negative dy, uh, we'll have error less than uh, decremented with the distance of y and then x1 goes up with respect to x uh, s of x 
And then we'll have the other edge case of E2 less than distance of X uh, with the error of incremented for the distance of X. Uh, this is to indicate the exact position of where the arrow is going to be drawn. So that's why with respect. And then if X of 1 doesn't equal X of 2 or uh, Y of 1 doesn't equal Y of 2, we're going to have graph lines uh, indicated as y positions of y1 with respect to x1 times 2 and we will set this one to be straight as indicating if we have uh, something that is directly connected as since we were putting our formats in the circular fashion but again there are different variations of graphs that we would have but um, that would be uh, cyclical in that case but again we're just showcasing in particular just the natures of graphs and how they're connected and then graph lines y2 x2 times 2 with respect to the following arrow as well and so just so i'm sure we got everything And the reason being is because we don't have our main function yet, so that's what I'm going to be indicating over here. Turn zero. Let's just build this, make sure, and it succeeded. All right, and also for reference as well, I have the following uh, header file uh, at the same time um, already inside of the GitHub repositories in the description below. So again, this would be our printer file that we'll be using to be able to actually print out our following graphs as well. And uh, without further ado, let's head over to our directed graph uh, to be able to build and showcase. Hey everyone, thank you very much for taking time to watch this. If you found this video helpful, be sure and feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions or suggestions, please put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.